Welcome back to The Band Guide. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today is another episode in the 5-Minute Logic Expert series where I'm bringing you 30 tips and tricks for recording, mixing, and mastering in Logic in 30 days. And today we are looking at clip gain. And this is a really powerful tool for balancing your volumes. And in my opinion, it's more appropriate in most situations than volume automation. And that's because it's happening before all of your plugins. Something that a lot of people don't realize, let's jump into Logic here really quickly, is that automation is actually the very last thing that's happening on your track. So you're the volume from your region here and then it will go down through your plugins and then the last thing is this volume fader and that's what we're typically automating but in a lot of cases that means that the way it's interacting with the plugins the sound is interacting with the plugins is going to be very different in a loud section than it is in a quiet section so by balancing those two in advance it's going to be much much more similar across all the regions now as you can see here, we have a vocal, and in this section to the left, it's a fair amount quieter than the section to the right. This is very common. Vocals are just dynamic. That's just the nature of the instrument. And in some cases, this is fine. You know, it's okay to have dynamics in your song, but in this case, it's a little bit too quiet, and then it's kind of sitting at the right level. So I think what we have on the right here is sitting pretty good, uh, but I actually want to turn up what's going on on the left. So I'm going to hit Command-T to split this here, and now I'm going to turn up the clip gain here, or the region gain, whatever you want to call it. This section of audio, we're going to turn that up. To do this, I'm going to hit I on the keyboard to bring up this little window here. I'm going to click this little arrow up here to expand this down. And then I'm going to, with this region selected, where it says gain here, I'm just going to pull up and that's going to turn up the volume. If you're watching the region down here, you can see that it's getting bigger. And you can start do it by doing this just visually. You can just see that it's sitting similarly to the second region now. And then now that it's a little bit bigger, I see, oh, well, it looks like this last phrase is a little bit quiet too. So let me turn that up a little bit extra. And maybe I'll also break out this second phrase it looks a little bit quiet too. So we'll turn that up just a little bit more. And then let's listen through and see if that sounds pretty balanced to us now. Instead of crying at the table, instead of giving out the names, instead of lying that you're stable, instead of pushing it away, you say it's just a good idea, yeah, it's just right? Much more balanced, much more even across that vocal performance. So that is clip gain. As I said, in a lot of situations like this, it's better than automation because automation happens at the end. There's nothing wrong with automation. I definitely do automation in most of my mixes, but I don't do it till the end and only if I really need it. Clip gain is faster and more appropriate in a lot of situations, at least in my opinion. Now, if you're using a newer version of Logic, there's another way that we can do this. If you go up here to your tools, you can change this to a gain tool. And then if you just go over region, you can just pull pull up or down on the volume. This can be helpful if you just have a lot of regions that you need to do this on. But if you're using an older version of Logic and you don't have access to that, you can always do it just over here with this little um, volume slider essentially next to this gain option here. Okay, so that's gain automation. This is obviously really helpful, but a lot of times we're gonna contain most of the dynamics later in the mixing process with compression. So you don't wanna go crazy with this. Compression is gonna fix a lot of just the small little minute changes and probably gonna be more natural sounding than you're gonna be able to get it with a billion little gain uh, adjustments. So don't go crazy with this. The way I also say don't go crazy with automation, we're gonna save a lot of that for mixing. Now, if you're confused about mixing, I want to give you something to help out. I put together a completely free six-step checklist that goes through the six steps that all professional mixes have. Compression is one of them, and how you can do them wherever it is you're making music, which I'm guessing is probably logic, right? Anyway, it's completely free from the link in the description below, so be sure to pick it up. Before you go, I'd love to hear from you. Did you already know about clip gain automation? Is this something that you've been doing? Let me know in the comments below. If this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow with another 5-Minute Logic Expert. One,